With the release of uh, the DJI Mini SE, DJI released another update of the DJI Fly app to be able to use that drone, and that is the 148. Apart from the added support for the Mini SE, they have included a few other minor updates to the DJI Fly app, which we will take a closer look at in this video. And I will be using the Air 2S for this. The first feature is a trim download for the Air 2S. And what that means is if I stop the video here and go under the video library, you can see that I have the video that I have just recorded of me. And let's say that I have been saying a lot of babble, babble, babble uh, along the way, and I don't want everything downloaded. I can simply just go in here and I can select a part of the video that I want to download and only use bandwidth to download that part. This was a feature that was originally introduced with the, the Mini 2 with the quick transfer mode. It's very convenient because you tend to record a lot more footage than what you actually need. And if you want to share something fast on social media, this would be a perfect chance to only capture that part of the video that you actually need. The second thing you are getting is a changed way of changing the exposure compensation value. If you record a lot of your videos in auto, you might end up in a situation where the drone is actually not judging the light conditions uh, correctly and you have parts of the image that is overexposed. And that, that's where you have the exposure compensation value here in the lower corner where you can lower sort of the overall average uh, exposure of the footage. And uh, they have now, instead of a more clunky slider that was there before, they have provided us with a nice slider like this. So if I want to increase the exposure, I can just rise it up to plus three, or I can lower it down to minus three stops. And as I explained in numerous videos before, the stops, one stop is equal to either halving or doubling the amount of light that enters the lens. So that's very useful. I normally, when I'm out filming, doing something between 0 0.3 and 0 0.7 minus, underexposed to make sure that I preserve all the highlights. The final thing that you got with 148 is an update of the attitude indicator in the lower left corner here on the flight screen. This is a very, very useful tool and uh, it will take too long, too much time, <laughs> more than I have this morning, to explain the, the update of this one. So I will basically hand you over to one of the good friends of the channel, Gavin HR, that yesterday released a very nice video where he took uh, the drone for first flight. In this case, it was the Mini 2, showing you uh, what uh, the updates are to this uh, new attitude uh, indicator. You can access this video through this card or through a link in the description below. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give a like. If you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you around.